everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore. And today we're getting back to business as usual. We've been taking it easy in the last two videos, celebrating reaching 2000 days in this hardcore world. But now it's time to get back to work. And we've got some big plans today and it involves the cathedral. Now for quite some time I have been talking about adding on to it, making it look a bit more like a real cathedral instead of just the tower and I think today is the day that we're finally going to be tackling that task. However that is not all that I have in mind for this episode. Now over the past few weeks and episodes we have been working on this area back here and while it is looking absolutely fantastic we have to admit it's not very useful. So today I want to start building a few farms and no I'm not talking about farms like these. These might have served as well in the early days but it's time to move on because let's face it we're 2000 days in and the fact that we're standing here still harvesting sugarcane like this is just embarrassing. And that's just one of the farms that I want to build. I'm also interested in a spider farm, a bee farm and a pumpkin and melon farm might also be on the horizon. So there's a lot that I want to get done and this is probably going to be a multi-episode operation. So which farm do we build first? And that is a question that I can only leave up to fate. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to What's That Farm, the game show where we decide what farm we're going to be building next. So let's get down and meet today's contestants. On the right side we have the melon farm, plump and juicy. Up top we have the pumpkin farm to the left, the sweetest sugarcane farm and to the bottom the scary spider farm. Ooh. And it's time to decide what farm we'll be building today and how do we do it? By spinning that wheel. And we have the sugarcane farm. Okay, I really don't feel like building a sugarcane farm. So let's go best two out of three. Spin that wheel. And it seems that the fates have indeed ordained that we are building a sugarcane farm. Thank you so much for joining ladies and gentlemen. That's all for this episode of What's That Farm. My name is Fungosaurus Rex and I'll see you in the next one. And yes, so we are building a sugarcane farm. Something that I really didn't want to do, but... The fates have spoken and we better get started. So first thing we're going to do is flatten off the top of this mountain over here. And once that's done, we'll get busy with the farm itself. And there we go. The top of the mountain is nice and flat. And next we're going to be measuring out where we want to put these modules. I think there are three wide each. There might be four, but I might be horribly mistaken on both counts. Anyway, we're going to go with three for now. So let's get these marked out. And well, that actually fits very, very nicely. Now that we've got the top marked out, we need to dig out the bottom. And this is going to be where we put our collection system. We're going to have some minecarts with hoppers in them. And they're going to be traveling back and forth on rails and picking up all the sugarcane that's been harvested. So what I need to do is dig out this section over here. I've marked it out on the other side and we should see some daylight coming through once we get there. And yes, there we go. So now all we need to do is dig out this entire section. And this is the last of it. Just a few more blocks to go. Two over here. And this is going to be where we put our collection system. And it's not going to be anything fancy really, just some minecart hoppers going back and forth. And then we'll have a central collection spot over here somewhere. Now I think this doorway is a little bit off to the one side, so let's just open that up. And I think this is the perfect time to mention that we now have memberships on the channel. So if you would like to support the channel, head over, click the join button and you can see the perks on offer. Things such as shiny badges, a custom emoji and of course 
a world download link. But for now, let's build a farm. And it seems I worked way too long into the night and I have created a mob farm. So the next thing we need to do is just get rid of everything in there. We've got a bunch of skeletons, we've got some zombies, I think I saw a creeper back there. And who knows what else is lurking in the shadows. So let's take this carefully. Ah, there we go. Another skeleton over there. And another one right there. Then let's take care of that creeper back there. And I think that is... Oh, no, one more skeleton, one more skeleton. There, ah, missed. There we go. And, of course, there's a spider back here as well. So, let's just get rid of it. And then I think I need to put down some torches just to avoid this from happening again. Obviously, it's nice and dark in here. Mobs love the dark. But we are going to light it up. And I think that should probably do it. Oh, let's collect our arrow back there, because that might be giving us a false sense of light. Yep. Let's put one more torch, and we're good to go once again. So let's get back to building our farm. And our sugarcane farm is pretty much complete, just finishing up the collection system over here. And I had to redesign it a few times, I made a few blunders in my early designs and my early concepts. But I think we have everything sorted out now. As you can see, we've got a massive hopper chain over here for the collection system. We've got the hopper minecarts up top there, and there we go, the sugarcane is starting to come in. Now, I'm not going to be building anything to cover this entire farm in this episode. I'll leave that for some later episodes. But I think the last thing I'm going to do is just cover up the front of this entire thing. So let's head over to the corner, make this three blocks high, and then we'll just fill in this wall over here. We'll blend it in better later. And then, of course, we'll build something over the top to make it look awesome. But with this done, it's time to start thinking about what farm we want to build next. And as I said, there are quite a few options, and there's only one way to decide. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to What's That Farm? The game show where we decide what farm we're going to be building next. So, let's get down and meet today's contestants. New to today's episode is the Cactus Bone Meal Farm and Bee Farm. Then returning is the Melon Farm, the Pumpkin Farm, and the Scary Spider Farm. Ooh. So let's spin that wheel and see who's today's lucky winner. And the Bee Farm takes it. Congratulations. So next we'll get busy on that Bee Farm. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is all for today's episode of What's That Farm? My name is Fungosaurus Rex, and I'll see you in the next episode. So, building a bee farm actually suits me to a T, because I'm going to need some candles for the cathedral build. But the question is, where am I going to put it? Now, I've got a little bit of space back here behind the house, but I doubt whether it's going to be big enough. So I think the first thing I need to do is just dig out this area a little bit over here and see what kind of space we actually have to work with. Let's not do that. There we go. 
and I've been looking at it, I'm not entirely sure how much space I really need, but I do want to build something nice to cover the bee farm eventually, and I don't think this is going to be enough space, so we need to find another area. And I have decided that the farming district is where it's going to be, no pun intended. And there's the perfect little space right here next to the windmill, of course I need to flatten it out first. And once that's done, it should give us more than enough space to build our bee farm. I did not mean to jump off like that, but thankfully I have feather falling on my boots. So this is the area I'm talking about. There's a lot of terrain that needs to be leveled. And I think let's get right on that, do that. There's going to be a bit of work to be done with the wall over here next to the windmill. But that's no problem. And there we go, the area has been prepared. I'm just making a little path coming from the... Ooh, I did not double dirt. Nobody saw that. I'll put some slabs there, it'll be fine. So I've got a little path leading from the main road down by the old ruins. And this is where we're going to be building our bee farm. So I think the first thing I need to do is measure it out, see what space we have to work with and how many beehives I can get in here. Now I want to make this thing massive because I also want to experiment with some copper and that's going to require a lot of wax for waxing the copper blocks. So I think let's get rid of the junk in our inventory and then let's start building ourselves a bee farm. And I have made a massive blunder. As you can see, I haven't left any space for the actual beehives between the comparators and the gloss up front, which means I need to tear half of this down and rebuild it. So basically what I need to do is I need to take out all of this glass. I need to take out all of these flowering azalea leaves and then I need to see what kind of gap I want to leave between this side and the other side because I want the two sides to produce two different things, the one honey and the one honeycomb. Now, of course, I want to leave as much of this intact as I possibly can. So let's see what we can do about this. And we have rebuilt it and it is almost complete. Just putting down the last few pieces of redstone. And I think that is the bee farm done. I've done both sides. As you can see, this side is all set up. I've got some shears in this side. And on the other side, I'm going to put some bottles for honey. Now, of course, the problem is breeding these bees because I only had, I think, two or three to start with. And they're a bit of a pain because I can breed these guys just fine. They can't get out through that gap. But for some reason, the little baby bees can. And I don't think this is the way. This is definitely not the way I... I am stuck. I am stuck in the bees. That is a sight I thought I would never see. The inside of a bee is very interesting indeed. But let's see. Okay, I've got the trap door open. I can crawl out and um, yeah. Now what happened was I opened up the glass and I wanted to get the bees to follow me back in. But as you can see, that didn't quite work out. So I've had to resort to covering the entire thing. I've removed the glass up front. I'll see, maybe when they go to sleep at night, I will replace the glass and get them all trapped in there. But for now, they're quite happy and they are doing an absolute banger of a job over here. As you can see, we've got tons of honey, we've got tons of honeycomb, and we've got a lot of bottles in here. That should be enough, but I'll keep replenishing it. We've got this full of shears, still many, many miles to go on those. And I think for now, we can call this little project completed. So it's on to today's main event. And that of course means taking down this area over here. Now last time I did it, it took absolutely forever, but I didn't have a beacon back then and I have one now. So I'm going to set my beacon up here. Then I'm going to dig out that entire mountainside. So we have a nice flat back to it. I'm also going to remove all of these trees and then we need to build out the area to the front over here. So I think it's time to go fetch our beacon. I'll grab some iron blocks to build a base for it. And then we can start leveling out that area, getting it all nice and flush on the side, which will give us all the space we need to build the rest of the cathedral. 
And there we go, the beacon has been lit. Fungosaurus calls for aid. No, not really. We're just going to level out these trees over here. Not much help needed with that. And then once this is done, we'll tackle the mountain. And I'll get back to you once we have the area all prepared. And the last few blocks are going in, which means we have a nice flat surface to start working from. Now, of course, the next thing we need to do is build it out a bit towards the front because it's not very long and the design I have calls for a little bit more space up front. But I think we are pretty much done. I think it is time to start building, which means we can probably get rid of our beacon, get the area all leveled out and ready, and then we can build. And I have run out of calcite. I haven't taken down the beacon yet because there was still a little bit more digging to do. But let's take a look at what we've done so far. And that is looking pretty good. However, I need to make a calcite run. Which means I need to fly out and go find some mountains. Fortunately, there was a patch of calcite right over here. Not too far from home. I've got me an empty shulker box. So I'm going to harvest all of this up. And once it is done, we should have enough calcite to easily finish our build and then some. So let's get digging. Now, fortunately, calcite is soft and easy to mine. And that didn't take us very long at all. As you can see, the terrain over here looks a little bit scarred now. It looks a little bit different, but we have got tons and tons of calcite. Just take a look at this. We have got many, many stacks. That is much more than we need to finish our cathedral. And then we'll have plenty in store for the next build. So let's head back and go build ourselves a cathedral. And we are back with calcite in hand, which means we can finish up all of this area down here, giving us a perfect platform to build on. Let's pop it in. And with that, our ground layer is complete. I've also put down a few markers just to help me get all the right things in all the right places. And I think it's time to start building the rest of this cathedral. You'll see I've dug out a bit of the wall over there, which means we can key in the new section. So let's get going. And the cathedral is pretty much done, but before we take a good look at it, I just want to head over and see how my bee farm is doing, because I think this thing has been going nuts. And yeah, our chest is full to the point of overflowing, which means the honeycomb is probably doing the same. Yep, just look at that. This thing has produced more than I probably will ever need. But I think it's time to move some of these bottles and some of this honeycomb over to the storage warehouse. And I'll probably need a shulker box to do that. So 
Let's just get rid of some of this nonsense. And then we'll get a few bottles out of there just so that the backlog can make its way into the chest. And I, I'll be honest, I have no idea what to do with this amount of honey. The honeycomb I can find a use for. We can make candles. We can wax some copper. So that is actually what I was after. But the honey... I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with all of this. But let's clear it out. So I'm back with two shulker boxes full of honey and honeycomb. And this is not the first two shulker boxes that I've brought back. As you can see with this load, I already have a double chest full of honeycomb. And we're already starting to fill the next chest. Now as you'll see, let's grab these honey bottles. And we've already got a double chest full of that as well. So these will go into the second double chest. And it seems our farm really is producing the goods. So let's head back to the cathedral and let's take a good look at what we have created. And I must admit, I think it is looking absolutely spectacular. As you can see, I've tried to keep the same motive from the tower, the big round white circles with a stained glass going throughout the entire cathedral. But I had to contend with a fatal flaw I made when building the original tower. And that is that the center of this is two blocks wide, which means I couldn't build nice sharp spires. What I could build, however, was an absolutely awesome interior. If we move from the back here, you'll see the welcoming red carpet moving in between the pews with some soft candlelight spilling over them. We've also made some amazing chandeliers and right up front we have the pulpit surrounded by paintings created by some great masters depicting the struggles of the saints. And all in all, I think this interior is looking phenomenal. And he said unto the viewers, I hope thou enjoyed this episode. Leaveth a like if thou did. And should thou wish to witness more, be sure to smite that subscribe button. But this is Fungosaurus Rex saying, until next time, beautiful people, stay awesome. Bye-bye.